Please do not attempt to adjust your television set. You are not in a miniature RC Willy furniture store. You're in Euler's workshop. Oh, hi, that's me. Let's check out this miniature furniture by Beast Kingdom. Let's see, let's see what kind of quality we got here. Single sofa set, a dining table set, and a single bed set. Let's open the single sofa set first. This is the smallest one. I imagine this is in response to the enormous diorama community that has propped up online over the last several years. Even though there's been incredible furniture made for decades that is just as affordable or cheaper. Uh, so I wanted to see what kind of quality the Beast Kingdom turned out for all of us collectors, whether we're action figure enthusiasts or dollhouse people. Nice. Well, there is our little side table coffee table. It's definitely sealed well. It's definitely nice and sturdy. I can tell it's very, very strong. I'm putting quite a bit of pressure on this and it's not wiggling or budging. Definitely something that is easily makeable if you wanted to make your own version and stain it and paint it however you wanted. Looks like there's some carryover on the staining there. It's not perfectly even on the color. And the tabletop is overlapping here on this side unevenly and here. And it's basically sort of twisted this way. You know, not too impressed, but not disappointed. This is the little plant they sent. Okay, yeah, definitely not impressed by this at all. This is literally like, but this is just, uh, I, I could show you how to make this in a few seconds with a few cents. So this is, I can tell this right here, this is a soft piece of vinyl or soft PVC. Um, this is like a footer for a stool or something. See that sealed edge there? And this is actually quite soft. See that? I can, pl I can plunge my fingernail into it and make an indent. This is not hard metal ceramic at all. And that is just like epoxied in train set rock. And these are plastic leaves. This plant, I would say it'll sell well in the background of an image, but a comparison to the stuff you can get that is, you know, in the 10 to $12 range handmade by an artist, this is, this is crap. All right, this chair feels pretty nice. It's definitely a larger size chair. That's, I think, a stylistic choice. I do feel like I could just pop this side off, though, if I wanted to. You can see the nail coming through there. So it's not bad, but um, it's pretty good, actually. The, the application of the soft goods onto the material is nice. This is probably plywood or some type of basswood um, plywood underneath here. The cushion is nice. The rear cushion is nice. It's definitely made to be very linear of a design. You can tilt the pillow how you want. The soft goods are good. I would say that this chair is up to par with some of the higher quality dollhouse handmade stuff. So this chair is nice. So this dining table set is not bad. Um, again, this plant actually though, this uh, planter base um, is uh, at least hard plastic. I can tell it's like the other one, it's like a hard cap for like a footer of something. It's not meant to be high quality ceramic, which would be easily doable. And the same thing, it's like some epoxied in sand and a cheap plastic plant. Something that I can show you guys how to make in a few minutes. In fact, why don't I just show you how to do it real quick? This will do. So we've got our uh, Aquafina bottle cap. Of course, you can do this with any vessel of your choosing uh, that is not going to melt under heat or melt from chemical burns because we're going to use Bob Smith Industries Quick Cure Epoxy. You could use the stuff that's in a syringe as well. I'm going to use a popsicle stick to stir it because I'm just going to mix it right in the cap. I've got some train set rock ballast. You could just literally go outside and get some rocks or dirt from your outside. It will work just as good. And I pulled this little fake plastic sprig off of some stuff I got from Hobby Lobby in the floral aisle. I'm going to trim it up and we're going to stick it in and make our plant. I want to make sure this is trimmed up how I want before I mix the epoxy because the epoxy will cure quick, quick cure. And I want to make sure these look how I want so that as the epoxy cures, uh, I won't have to fiddle with it afterwards. Okay, first we're going to do the epoxy. And this is where you want to try to get equal parts of both. 
and we're going to do the hardener and once this starts to get mixed we only have a few minutes so i'm going to mix it up i'm going to pour the rocks in then i'm going to stick the plant in and uh should it should obey <laughs> Obviously, you may want to wear gloves when you're doing this. I trust myself enough not to spill this or anything weird, but this is what we're doing right now. Just tapping it to make sure it sits into the epoxy, pushing it down a little bit. Our three little plant pieces, and we're going to stick those in the epoxy. Just going to use my other side of my popsicle stick to kind of push everything into place. Just going to kind of hold it for a moment, let the epoxy start to harden and heat up. And then we'll take a look at it here when it's done. It's already starting to hold its place. Ta-da! So it looks like I could have used a few more rocks. Um, they kind of sunk a little bit to the bottom of the epoxy. But you get the idea. We basically just replicated the same process that um, Beast Kingdom used to make their little planters. And so you could take this idea and run with it. You could use different vessels, different plants, different types, different rocks. You could make whole planter, big planter boxes, whatever you want for your miniatures and dioramas. There you go. The chairs, they're made of that quarter inch by quarter inch uh, or 5 16th by 5 16th inch wooden square dowels. Um, kind of stuff you can get at the craft store for a few dollars. This is a pretty good material. This is not bad for what it is. It's applied to the base nicely, but it's not, as you can see, glued down very well. I can lift this up pretty easily with my finger, but it's nice and square. I can tell everything is actually made nice and square on this. The chairs are actually made and put together pretty well, and this is quite sturdy. I'm hitting that pretty hard with my hand and nothing is budging, so that's good. So I would actually say this dining table set is not bad. I like the table set. Hold on to the end and I'll give you guys my ratings uh, 1 to 10 for each set and overall for the whole piece. And here is our bed. Let's take a look at what this looks like. Here is our simulated lamp that they sent us. Um, this looks really nice, uh, but I don't care for the top. The top seems unnecessary. Real lamps don't have tops like that. And I feel like you could easily make a wire cage or wire um, piece to hold the shroud of the lamp in place that would actually look like a real lamp and it wouldn't cost very much. This is like a canvas fabric that is overlaid to a solid ring of probably PVC or wood. The staining is not very even on the wood poles. It doesn't get into the corners. It doesn't get all the way into the crevices. And I feel like this could easily be made into an actual light where you could actually have an LED in there and the wire running down, which maybe I'll modify this and see what I could do, but it's also very top heavy because of the way that it's made. I think it looks nice as a decorative outside piece, but the quality and the make could be easily much, much higher. Okay, the bed does not sit even. Maybe it's my table. Nope. That bed is very uneven. Yeah, the bed is definitely not even. So the soft goods, very basic. Uh, the blanket and the pillow, basic soft goods, nothing too crazy there. Can I remove the mattress? Huh, no, the mattress is actually glued down and the mattress has staining on it, which I don't like. And this is just a piece of furniture foam. You can get a huge roll of this stuff at Hobby Lobby for a few dollars. The mattress is also not placed evenly. So you can see the gap here is wider and tighter and it's not even over here on the side. It's a smaller space over here than over here. So this is just plopped down at an angle and it's glued in place. So you can see here, if we pull this off, it's not glued down very well and it's just basic foam that you can get at the craft store and it's just a piece of fabric wrapped around it. Um, 
Everything is seamed together nice and sturdy, whatever glues and finishes they've used. And the finish is actually pretty even on this, but um, it's not carefully made and things are not put together in a level manner. So I feel like with maybe another hour's worth of work on each of these pieces or, or equivalent for a factory and maybe another 10 bucks spent by them at the most, you could charge double and make this an even better set. This is uh, This one is like not the greatest. So what do I think of the Beast Kingdom furniture sets? Well, it's $28 for the wonky bed set and the fake lamp. It's $38 for the dining room table set. And it's $23 for the chair and side table. I do think this chair and table set is absolutely your best value. And I would wager a guess to say this is worth it. I would actually say it's more worth it if you take the plant out of it. If I saw this set for $22 I'd be, and I had it in my hands and I saw it in person, I would absolutely spend $22 on this. Now, the dining room set, I think, is probably your best value. Um, it's $38, but this is nice and level and it's nice and sturdy. And I do think it would be better if it actually had six chairs instead of four. So I think this would be served better if it had six chairs, but you could actually decorate this and add fabric table runners and add table sets and things like that. And it's not a bad starter set for somebody who's just trying to create a scene or create a simple display. This set though, I think is really not worth it to be honest with you. This definitely looks like something that I would make as a quick aside to decorate a diorama that I sent somebody just so they could have a filler piece. Now, obviously this is a company trying to mass produce a product, Beast Kingdom, but I don't think this is really worth it to me unless you really just want something to throw out there. You can get much, much nicer quality um, miniature bedroom furniture with better soft goods and more choices from artists and resellers like Designing Ways Minis and Tiny Home Decor. I highly recommend checking them out if you'd like to get a nice bed or bedroom type furniture. With shipping, you're at almost $100 for all this. Um, in my opinion, I'd rather spend an extra $20 to $30 and get higher quality stuff if you want to go for a whole set. But if you want one of these things, it's definitely a good purchase. I would feel comfortable recommending this chair and side table and recommending this, but I can't really recommend this. Maybe I'll modify this in a future video and see if I can even out the legs and uh, make a better quality bed and modify that lamp even and kind of show you guys what I mean. If I take the plant out of this set, I'd give this set a nine out of 10. I give the dining table set an eight out of 10 and I give this probably a five or a six out of 10 at best. Is it worth it? Well, I guess it's up to you to decide. What do you think? Tell me in the comments below. Just to show you the scale, these are definitely designed for seven to eight inch action figures. This is me in exactly true 112 scale, and you can see how high that table is on me. This is a Mythic Legions figure that is a little bit overscaled because they're a little bit taller on the scale side, and even he looks kind of mid-size on that. But uh, definitely the chair would probably work with, the, especially the larger six inch figures. But um, the table is definitely way too oversized. And the bed is, you could probably make the bed work if you're gonna put two, two people in it, but I wouldn't necessarily recommend it for uh, six inch scale action figures. That is a pretty big bed for Batman, you know. You know, Batman's over six feet tall, so that means that bed is like nine feet long. So that's a pretty big bed. Well, I think that puts that unboxing to bed. Ha ha ha. Um, anyways, thanks for coming by and checking it out. I hope you learned something. I hope you got some insight. If you want to buy this furniture, there's a link below to Big Bad Toy Store. I don't get anything for it. I was just curious how well made this stuff was and how it turned out. Obviously, you saw my thoughts on that. Maybe we'll make some of this stuff on the channel. Um, I also put links below to Designing Ways Minis and Tiny Home Decor. Two lovely gals that I met when I went to IMOMA in Las Vegas. That's the International Market of Miniature Artisans. Uh, there's a link to their website below, and they are selling tickets to next year's event that occurs at the end of February in 2024. And if all goes well, I will be there again, selling some of my stuff, hopefully seeing some of you there. And I'm here always on the channel. Hit that like and subscribe. Tell me below what you think of this furniture. Tell me what you would do differently. We'll catch you later.